Hi, I'm Kathleen Flynn. I'm the author of The Sharper Your Knife, The Less You Cry, and The Kitchen Counter Cooking School. And today we're going to talk about vinaigrette. A lot of people don't realize this, but actually one of the most expensive things that you buy in a supermarket, or one of the more expensive, by weight, is in fact vinaigrette. It costs anywhere from $20 to $47 a gallon. You don't really think about that when, say, you're picking up this guy, which costs almost four dollars but you might want to take a look at the label in this case the number one ingredient is water followed by vinegar followed by soybean oil followed by olive oil and then high fructose corn syrup the funny thing is is that vinaigrette doesn't have very many things in it and you can make something healthier cheaper and frankly I think a lot more flavorful at home so you only need to know a couple of things one is a basic ratio. The first thing is one part acid to three parts oil and that equals fabulous stuff. What's an acid? Think lemon juice, vinegar, any kind of vinegar. Oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, nut oils, say such as walnut oil. It's a very simple ratio. You can you know add a little more acid, leave a little out. That's one of the great things about making something yourself. And the only fancy equipment that you need is a jar. I have marked where the acid goes, one tablespoon, and oil. So in this case, I'm going to make a balsamic vinaigrette, highly popular with all the kids. So this is basically just one tablespoon of balsamic, that's it, and three tablespoons of olive oil and a little salt, a little pepper, shake it up. And if you do this at home, guess what? Congratulations, you just made vinaigrette. That's all it takes. Do you want a fancy one, say with raspberries? Mash up a few raspberries or take a tablespoon or a teaspoon, however sweet you'd like it, of raspberry preserves. The other terrific thing about vinaigrette is that, you know, a lot of us have a lot of these random condiments around. I mean, I have like two or three different kinds of oils. I've got rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, blueberry syrup that I bought at a farmer's market. I've got, you know, plum vinegar. I've got Italian, you know, Italian olive oil that someone gave me. And you know how you have, say, a jar of mustard and it's got that bit of mustard all around the side and you can't really kind of get to it? Well, this is a great trick on what to do with it. You just take some lemon, just squeeze it right on in there, add a little bit of olive oil, just like this, salt, pepper, maybe a wee bit of shallots, there you go, and then once again, just like we did before, you just shake, 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 shake. It'll let you use up the rest of the stuff that was in this jar and also make vinaigrette. It's so awesome. It's like the greatest thing. So you can actually do this with the very end of, say, a jar of strawberry preserves. So trust yourself. If you only use oil and vinegar, you don't even have to refrigerate it. You can keep it for two or three months, maybe even longer. If you do add something like, say, shallots or raspberries or garlic, for instance, refrigerate it and use it within a few days. It's cheaper, it's better for you, and you know, if you're, if you're just cooking for one person, you can just make a small amount. If you're cooking for a lot of people, you can make a lot. Vinaigrette. Try it, do it, love it, embrace it, and it will open up a whole new world to you in terms of your cooking. I'm Kathleen Flynn. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next lesson.